8th, October 23rd, I'm Meghna Vedala and you're watching Sentin News. Technology is becoming more important during this pandemic as we are using it for virtual academy assignments and more. Here's Andrew for more helpful tips. Relying on a computer for your assignments can be frustrating, so here are some ways to make your life easier and stay on top of your learning. If you work at home and don't have the school bells to keep you on time, Making alarms for each of your classes can be a way to ensure that you're never late. Staying on top of your assignments can be done with several applications for your phone and computer that give you digital to-do lists. Learning at home makes it hard to concentrate. If you have difficulty staying on task, try removing distractions like your phone and making a neat and organized area on your desk. Try learning a few shortcuts for your programs. For example, by pressing Alt and V, or Command and Shift and V on Mac, you can turn your video on or off on Zoom. There are a few simple ways to improve your Zoom calls with better lighting. Try to face yourself toward windows instead of having them behind you and lighting your back. Having a reasonable distance between you and the webcam and getting the webcam close to eye level is ideal. Having a place to put all of your work is as easy as making folders for each of your classes on your desktop and Google Drive. Finally, let's hear how a Centennial student was able to make their life easier. Something I do to get my work done on time is setting alarms and labeling them with the schoolwork I have due that night just to make sure that I get it done in time. These tips should start you off with increasing your productivity and easing the struggle of working online. This has been Andrew Jones for Centen News. 2015 Centennial alumna Mary Martin Darden is currently working for NBC Universal as an East Coast page. Here's Owen with more information. Mary Martha Darden graduated from Centennial High School in 2015. Now she's working as an East Coast page for NBC Universal. We reached out to her to see how her life has been since she walked these halls. The page program is a 12 month development program for recent grads who want to learn more about the media landscape. And so what does that mean? It's I get to basically rotate through um, three to four different assignments through the span of one full year. I got to learn everything there is about marketing and editing a promo for a show. And my parents got tired of me using their video camera when I was little. And so at like 11, they got me just like this handheld camera. And I started just making videos. I made music videos to like Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana. And I just like fell in love with editing and creating really fun stories for my friends to like watch. And then in college, I pursued um, communications at the University of Arkansas and then did internships um, in LA and New York during the summer. So I have always just had a passion for film. Um, I've always wanted to know more. It's been a dream come true. Being a page is truly like the coolest thing I think I'll ever do. I'll, I've peaked after this. <laughs> so don't be afraid to ask people for help and, and guidance because this industry is not made for people uh, to pursue alone. <laughs> It's inspiring to see that another former Centennial student has been able to accomplish so much in just five years. I'm Owen Davis with Centen News. Among Us is slowly becoming one of the most popular games that are entertaining people during this quarantine. Here's it with more information. Among Us, a game that is sweeping the nation because of its effective use of communication and trickery. Today we'll look on how to play the game and some tips and tricks to get you started. The goal of the crewmates is to finish the taskbar on the top left of the screen. Some examples of tasks are recalibrating, aligning, and doing this admin card swipe. But some tasks are visual tasks, like you can see the cannons move on the bottom right in weapons, and in medbay you can see the scan happen. Visual tasks help narrow down who the imposter is. The goal of the imposter is simple, to kill everyone. They can use vents to quickly get between locations. They can also sabotage. This gives them a slight advantage, but it only lasts for a short period of time. The imposter has to combine both lies and deception in order to win. To make a private game, click on online, which will prompt up with this menu. Then click on host to create a game and customize your settings based on your preferences. Once you load into a game, there's a computer on the left which you can customize both imposter and crewmate settings. If you have a code from a friend, enter it at the bottom to join their private game. If you want to play casually, click on public. 
a list of games pop up that have open spaces which you can join. If you still need help or don't understand how to play the game, there's a how to play section on the main menu. This was Sid Shaw for Sen10 News. FISC is proud to announce that the Read and Book Challenge is officially open to students and staff. This challenge is to read books and get the points awarded. Here's a word from our FISD librarians with more. The Read Woke Challenge was started by school librarian Cicely Lewis. Read Woke books challenge a social norm, tell the side of the oppressed, give information about groups that have been disenfranchised, and shed light on issues that have been seen as not issues. Our goal for the Read Woke program is to allow students to see themselves within the pages of the books they read. Students are embracing Read Woke because they like to read and they're excited. To find Read Woke books, you can find them on your pack, the library catalog. You can also find them on Mac and Via under Groups. Look for Read Woke. Also on the Sora app, there's a collection specifically formed. Hi readers, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about each of the 10 books from the Read Woke Challenge. Racism and white supremacy are deeply embedded in American history and current policies that impact education. After students or staff read these books, every time they read a book, they'll complete a reflection form. The link is different for each school. Let's check with your campus librarian. So if you do decide to take the official read book challenge, um, you can actually get lots of prizes. You could get a goodie bag, bookmarks, a read book button, um, however, every person that finishes the Read Woke Challenge will get the official Read Woke t-shirt. How awesome is that t-shirt? I'm here to talk about Woke Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, we're going to post our teachers that are reading the books, our students that are reading the books. Check us out. On social media, when you're posting, if you could use the hashtag FISD Read Woke. We also have that book list available to you guys online at bit.ly slash all lowercase f-i-s-d read woke this past nine weeks has been tough on students adjusting to in-person class or virtual academy during this pandemic here's turned with more information on how students are adjusting to this situation students have been involved in school now for nine weeks Students virtual and face-to-face -face now face an eligibility barrier depending on what classes they have. Let's see how they are handling the stress of school and social life amidst the global pandemic. Um, honestly, it's been alright. You know, the past two weeks, it's been a little more stressful because I have a pitch for entrepreneurship tomorrow, so we've been, you know, getting stuff together for that. But yeah, so far it's been kind of normal, just weird with COVID. Not really as much because during band season, I've always been like really careful about my grades so it's kind of you know been normal since you know freshman year to now i've always like tried to be careful about it i mean it kind of does feel like it because you know it's kind of covid's fault again like the school doesn't really have much to do with it but yeah there is kind of an imbalance yeah yeah like teachers like more strictly follow like the three day late policy thing but like i really got to be on top of my work because like i came in with the AB thing, AB day thing, I was expecting I'd have more time, like, to slack off, I guess, but I don't really have that. Like, I was going and expecting there to be extra time to goof off and stuff, but like, and I did that, and it doesn't work. I still have to keep up that pace, and I guess I kind of have to readjust again to like actually doing work. I don't know. I don't know really what they could do differently, because um, you you can only enforce certain things so much. Uh, I think they're doing a decent job so far, like monitoring how many people are going to the bathrooms and stuff like that so there's not crowding. And stuff to help students, I think, continue with the advisory because I know I used to get a lot of work done in advisory. Um, but yeah. Halloween season is finally here, and one of the most popular activities that people do around here is pumpkin carving. Here's Diego with more information on how to do cool pumpkin carving designs. Hi, who are you? Diego. Yeah. I was walking through the school today, right? And it just came to me. I've never actually carved a pumpkin before. So, today, you and me are both going to get this pumpkin right here, everybody. All right, so you really only need about three things for this project. The first one is gonna be a pumpkin, obviously, right? You're gonna need a long knife right here, a 
smaller knife and then a spoon. The first part is going to be making a circle right here around the top with a knife. Alright, for the next step, you can really just use your hands if you want to, or you can get a spoon. Your hands are going to be a lot faster. So you're just going to. Should I go for it? You're going to grab your hand and start ripping out. All empty. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to, we're just going to go with the basic triangle eyes and a little knot right here. Once you have all that done, all you need is a pretty small candle, light it inside, and that's it. You're good to go. Be sure to check out Twitter and Instagram at Centin News. For more information, check out our website at www.centinews.com. See you next time, Titans. Thank you.